So these ones um, have been a very interesting time for me to try at a very new palette, not break away from the, the blues and greens that I was so attached to for the last um, several, well, a couple of years actually at least. And um, finding at least two of these, finding images in just magazines, like Home Beautiful magazines, finding these um, beautiful displays of rich, yummy fabrics and, uh, you know, curiosities and things, and just wanting, oh, I want, I want that in a painting. And so these ones came about that way. And so there is a lot of collaged elements. Um, the florals and the mats in a couple of them were uh, uh, collaged and I've overlaid with more paint or with um, Neocolor 2 water soluble crayons. So having uh, a pattern of collage on the paper and then adding over that to, to change it some so that it wasn't just what I put there. And the figures started to arrive very much into these. Um, the lady sitting in the pink chair, I have, it's like a healing space. And so the color reminding me of rose quartz, which has great self-love and healing kind of qualities. And the surrounding oneself in plants, um, that just felt really soft and sort of beautiful. And again, that's what I think I was referring to where she looks sort of a little sad or thoughtful. You know, she she's, um, she's not waving her hands around and dancing right now. She's really needing to sit and just tend and take care of herself. And, you know, not unlike I was experiencing it, at different times over that the last year or two so again that's what I mean by sometimes I'm not meaning to do self portraits not really meaning to paint myself into the work but who else would I paint into it if it's me that I'm hanging out with most of the time and um, and allowing all of the feelings to be welcomed is still a somewhat uncomfortable but necessary really necessary and so that's why sometimes I've chosen to not put somebody in the chair to leave the chairs open and free for the viewer to sit themselves there I sometimes think like with this one here those two seats um, I think I may or so, one of them I've named in conversation um, I wonder who you might choose to sit with in the work you know, if you're really drawn to one of the rooms in particular, you might ask yourself, why? What does it remind you of? Or who does it remind you of? Um, oftentimes, the, or especially with these ones, I'm reminded of my sister. Uh, she was called Maria, but for me, my family were called her Min. And she died in June of 97. And she was an artist as well. And her paintings were around her home and mostly she did paint nature and trees, flowers, landscapes. Um, but she loved these rich colours and she always made her homes. Wherever she lived, she made beauty. She really brought a place to life by her artistic touch. She, um, she would always be buying fabric and if it wasn't to sew some clothes, she loved to make her own things. She'd be sewing curtains and cushion covers and, and just always bringing beauty into her surrounding. And I remember she did that at my parents' home when I was very small. Her first paycheck sometimes was spent buying something that would make my mum's space brighter, happier, nicer. She wallpapered my, my parents' home when I was young. She always gave back so much and I really noticed how her home how I would feel there and notice these beautiful little vignettes around the place that she just created for their beauty and so that has stayed with me now it, it, it won't leave and um, so you know I might feel like sometimes when I paint a room like this that she's there sitting with me and that's a really beautiful feeling um, in this one here 
um, I've started again, and both these top ones, to be really inspired again by Matisse. And so now, um, this moment and this, this week, I'll come to at the end after sharing about all of these new works, I'll show you a piece that's the beginning of a new series and talk more about that. So, but what happened was that this one had a framed picture that I had done a version of Matisse's cutout, like the blue shape of a figure. And I had that in there and then I painted it sort of with a pink background and it just wasn't working. It wasn't popping and making it feel really yummy. And so I, I probably looked online actually and looked for a, um, a Matisse portrait. I think I went looking for that and found a picture that I loved and it was a larger one of, of a whole uh, scene of a lady seated, but I just honed in on her face and popped that on a piece of paper, I think. I think I might've just done it on a little piece of paper. I can't remember now. I think I did. And just painted it very um, loosely, roughly, without thinking too hard. And then held that to, over to this little frame and I was just smitten with it. And so there arrived very strongly then that that feel, feeling of really j huge joy was like an incredible indicator to me. Oh, you're onto something. Don't don't think this is just part. You know, don't let that go because it's so moving when something like that happens to you in the work where it's just a big oh, you know, it makes you it makes you come alive in a way where you've been a bit flat maybe for a time. So that's what happened when that face arrived in that painting. Um, that it came alive and I came alive. So really happy to share that. Um, it, it, it's really, um, it's worth sharing when people, something that makes you come alive, you should share that with others. <laughs> yeah, so that's that group of works there. Um, oh, I can comment too on these two at the bottom of, of me, you know, trying again to be loose and free. And so painting the backgrounds as if they're like a large abstract painting, really. It's sort of like these people are having a whole wall of painted art. They're not waiting for a little one in the frame. And then I've put plants and chairs in front. So that made me really happy. It's like, well, I can experiment with this sort of abstract thing alongside the known, the chairs, the figures, um, and, and have that juxtaposition of those two elements kind of hanging out together. And that really made me happy as well. And these big plant sort of allies, like plant friends, they've really been a strong element in this recent group of work as well. It's just... I'm not sure, just put a plant in there. And I think that's our house is a bit like that. We're not sure what to put, just put a plant in there. We've got plants everywhere and lots in the lounge. And um, partly due to seeing a show on Gardening Australia and it showed me a hair salon in Melbourne and they had so many plants everywhere. You could barely see the chairs where people get their hair done and plants all hanging from the roof and the ceiling and vials of plants with new ones sprouting. So that really inspired me. I've got, I got that, um, again, it made me feel alive to see it like that. So it made me bring a whole lot of plants into my home. And so now they're, they're coming happily into the paintings as well. So that's that group of those kind of rich jewel colored um, rooms that you might find yourself in.